everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video that I put up yesterday was a makeup haul. So in today's video, I'm just wanting to use some of those products I got. Okay, so to start off with, this isn't a new product, but I've just been using this recently on my skin just before I put my primer or just foundation and stuff on, just as a prep for my skin. So this is the Province Beauty and it's like a natural vegan coconut and Moroccan mint hydrating body mist. And I love the packaging of this. Like, see things where you just spray them? They're just so handy. Next up, I'm just going to continue on with my brows. I'm actually going to do those off camera and then in another tutorial coming up, I'm, I will do like an in depth tutorial on my eyebrows because I know I have been asked that recently. So I'm just using the LA Girl Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Warm Brown. <laughs> this year for me, I want to grow my eyebrows out. I'll just zoom these in a wee bit so you can see my eyebrows. I don't know if you'd be able to see how bad they actually are at the minute. Um, obviously, if you're familiar with my channel, you would know that I shave my eyebrows <laughs> instead of like plucking and waxing and all that absolute shade. So yeah, I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows for this year. Although I say within the next couple of weeks, I will just whip out the Gillette and I'll just go to town like I always do. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, I'm back. So now for primer, I don't actually have like a pore perfecting primer or like a color correcting primer or anything, but I do have these and this is actually from Bar M. So this is the Unicorn Primer Drops and this is just like a beauty elixir, I'm guessing, by the formula and the color of this stuff that it's actually a dupe for the For Sally Beauty Elixir Drops. I think that's what it's called. Hello. Oh, that's more like it. I'm just going to buff that out with the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Small Duo Fiber Brush. Throughout this tutorial, please excuse my extremely botched nails. I sat last night and accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally, I just couldn't stop myself. <laughs> just picked all my nail varnish off, so. I'll probably actually sit and do my nails tonight after I get this video edited and uploaded. I'm actually so busy tonight though, so that's if I get the time because I have to do my mum's hair. I honestly thought that whenever I quit my hairdressing job that I wouldn't ever have to do hair ever again and I was like living my best life while hoping to be living my best life. I do hair at home for free. Like I'll do my granny's hair, I'll do my mum's hair, like I'll do like my boyfriend's mum's hair. Um, and I don't ask for anything, but at the same time it's like, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Now for foundation, now that we are all primed. So I have two foundations that I'm going to try and only one of them is new. <laughs> Apologies for that. Yeah, this isn't going to match me at all but I just thought I would uh, talk about it. So this is the Colourpop No Filter Foundation and this is in the shade Fair 15. It would match me if I wasn't wearing fake tan but still at the same time I actually think it is so pale that if I did put this on even whenever I didn't have tan on it would actually make me look as if I died like five days ago and I don't really like that look. <laughs> I'm just going to use a foundation that I haven't used in a really, really long time. So this is the EX1 Invisawear Liquid Foundation and this is in the shade F200. So if you have a darker skin tone or you have more like yellow in your skin tone, give these a look. They're honestly really good foundations and they're actually really affordable as well. I think they're like under £10. I forgot my beauty sponge. Hold on. Can you believe I actually cleaned my beauty blender? <laughs> New year, new me, all that shit. <laughs> That's one thing I hate about cleaning my beauty blender and then going in and dirtying it again. <sighs> Does my nut. And I actually do think that it's still going to be a wee bit too orange for me. What's new? So is anybody else wondering what the trends are going to be for 2019 in the beauty world and makeup. I think that full coverage, um, the blind and highlight is actually going to be left in 2018. Obviously there's going to be loads of people that is going to be full coverage all the time. 
like myself. I don't know, I just kind of have that feeling and I kind of think that there's so many people at the minute that's over the beaming highlight. Oh my god, I have a big massive spot on my hairline. Ew! <laughs> I look a tad orange. <laughs> So next up for concealer, this is by the brand Sleek. As far as I know, this is actually new at the drugstore because I was in Balmina last Saturday and I did pick this up because I've never heard anybody talk about this before and I've never seen it before. This is the Life Proof Concealer and this is in the shade 02 Vanilla Shots. Oh my god. Holy bum. Oh my god. That smells like the MAC. Pro Longwear, is it the Pro Longwear concealer? You know whatever, it smells really heavily of like paint. Oh my god. Just give myself a wee concealer beard. So just taking that sponge that I used to blend out my foundation. Oh my goodness, that actually blends it out really really easy. That concealer is actually really, really easy to blend out. I'm actually quite surprised about that. I'm actually just going to put a wee bit more on, just on my under eyes, just to brighten just a wee bit more. And I'm just going to drag that down around my mouth area. And then whatever's on the excess of the sponge, I just like to go up the centre of my nose and then just between my eyebrows and onto my forehead. Oh, I really love that concealer. It's actually a really, really nice coverage. And I definitely think it has helped balance my face out. Like my face does look more like multi-dimensional now. Um, because obviously I do have like the brighter under eyes. Then I did put it here and then I blend it out here. So it kind of looks as if I have like a natural contour going on. It really just has helped my face. And yeah, coverage looks really, really good. I don't actually think I want to do too much to the eyes today. Um, usually whenever it comes to these types of videos, I don't like to go like too crazy if that makes sense because I just like to try out the products and see how they work and do a look that I would do on my everyday basis. Like I'm not wanting to do anything like too extravagant or anything. Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes, oh, can you see me? Can you see me? Um, <laughs> okay, so for eyeshadow palettes today, I actually got this sent to me in PR um, just before Christmas. This beautiful little package showed up at my door and it kind of freaked me out a wee bit because I don't actually know how this brand got my uh, <laughs> dress. Um, <laughs> but anyway, not complaining. And their products look absolutely beautiful. Please excuse the packaging, it is absolutely bogging. But it's spelled M E M I, and I don't know if that's pronounced Mimi or Mimi. Um, but I'm just going to pronounce it Mimi, and I'm so sorry if that is wrong, but this is what the palette looks like here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's just like a very neutral palette. I honestly love the shades in this palette, so I'm just wanting to do something quite soft today. I'm just going to take this shade here, and I'm just going to take this just on a dirty <laughs> um, fluffy brush. So I'm just going to buff this shade just into the crease, just quite softly, and I'm just going to start at the outer corner and work my way in. And this is in the shade All Ass. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So then I'm just going to go with this shade here, and this shade is called Finesse. And again, I'm just going to take that on the exact same brush. No, I'm not actually. I'm just going to take that just on a smaller, more defined crease brush. And again, just with the transition shade, I'm just going to start off just in the outer corner and working my way in. So I'm just going to take that clean brush that I was using in the first place and I'm just going to buff those edges out. Did I say clean brush? Like really? <laughs> Hasn't been washed in like six months. I'm joking by the way. So then I'm just going to keep on repeating that step just until I have the right amount of pigment worked up just at the outer area because I do have a fair idea in mind the look I want to do today. Love the fact that this palette also has like a very dark brown shade and also has a black. So I'm going to take full advantage. I have two pencil brushes here and I don't know what one to use. 
Okay, I'm just going to use the Makeup Addiction Small Pencil Brush. This one here. I'm just going to use this shade to create a wing. Just at that outer corner. Buff that in. Not the whole way, but just kind of like halfway. I'm just going to diffuse that. Going into that palette again, I'm going to take the black, and this is in the shade It's a Vibe. <laughs> and I'm just going to stump, stump. I'm just going to stamp the brush in the palette to pick up some of the shadow and then just stamp it on as if I'm just using like a gel liner. Just along that lash line. And then once I kind of have a fair idea that I haven't much on the brush, I'm just going to diffuse and blend in the way. Switching between the pencil brush and the brow brush, I'm just going to pick up some more shadow. Just on the tip, not too much. And I'm just going to start buffing that black shade. Just so that it's more smoky looking than just set on. So then I'm just going to take this loose pigment. So this is such a loose glitter dust, well a loose glam dust, excuse me. And this is from Smolder Cosmetics and this is in the shade Cashmere. Just taking like a wee flat packing brush and I'm actually just going to spritz it first because I'm not going to cut the crease or apply anything to my lid to make it taggy for the dust to stick to. So I'm just going to spritz the brush. Get some of the pigment onto the brush and then tap off the excess. Instead of going in straight away as soon as I've applied the pigment to the brush, I like to let the pigment sit on the brush, on the wet brush for about 20 seconds just to kind of let it settle and like settle in with the setting or fixing spray. And then I just like to go ahead and press it onto the eye. So I'm just focusing this just in the inner corner. And I'm just going to apply this right in the contour of the eye, just right in that crease. I'm going to just bring it up. And then whatever excess is on the brush, I'm just going to start by patting it. Just start patting it out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this eye right now, but that looks so patchy and disgusting. It is nothing to do with these eyeshadows, by the way. They are performing beautiful, but what? <laughs> this is also by the same brand as the eyeshadow palette, by the way. So this is their expert liner in the shade black, I'm guessing, and I am absolutely obsessed with the tip of this. It's not a felt tip, but it's like a bristle tip if that makes sense so if you kind of think of like the Kat Von D liners where they're actually like really really like thin fine hairs going into the point this is what this brush is like I actually think this is the best liquid liner I have used in a long long time. Okay guys so lashes are on and I'm now just going to start off on the rest of my face makeup. Before I set my face um, I'm just going to use this blush. So this is the blush by Maybelline and this is the Dream Matte Blush. This is in the shade Pink Flirty and obviously as we all know of the Dream Matte Mousse foundation that you used to get so long ago. This is actually a cream to powder blush and it is honestly beautiful. You can't really see it once I've blended it out but I do like my blushers to be quite subtle and I do like to be able to actually build my blushers up. Okay well I don't know about you but I can definitely see that and that is so nice. That's so nice I can't stop putting it on. To set my face, I'm just going to use the Elsie powder. I hauled this the other day and this is in the shade light to medium and this is just a translucent powder. So I'm just going to take a wee bit just on the lid. Dirty brush as always. Wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't have dirty brushes. Now I'm just going to lightly, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to lightly just pat that just underneath my eyes. 
I'm not going to set my entire face because I actually don't find that I need to. I'm just going to set mainly my T-zone and whatever is left on my brush. I just like to take up between my eyebrows and onto my forehead. I kind of find that I don't need to set up here that much. And I do have like dry to normal skin so I just kind of set where I need to be set if that makes sense. It's definitely a nice powder, like it's nice but it's not blowing my wee socks off. Now for highlight, I actually have two highlighters, shock. Um, one is actually from Primark and this is the Brunch Club highlighter. I'm sure to most of these this is old news but the Primarks over here where I live are, like they're on a side gack. We barely get any of like the new makeup and the half decent makeup and stuff so this is actually the first time I've actually came across one of these. So I just had to lift it as soon as I seen it. And honestly, it looks absolutely stunning. Oh my God, I haven't even opened it yet. Come on, you bitch. This one looks really, really nice, so it does. So, huh? Oh my God. That looks promising. So then the next highlight we have is from the same brand as the eyeshadow palette and the eyeliner. This is their Powder Radiance Highlighter in the shade Glow Up. Again, that's very, very beautiful. It's just like your typical highlight shade. It's just like a, like a champagne, like rose gold. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Um, so I think on this side, I'm going to try the Primark highlight. Oh my. <gasps> okay, okay Primark, I see you. Yeah, definitely love these highlighters. I haven't got a new bronzer so I apologise for that. So this is the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Sculpting Blush Palette. This is the bronzer shade I'm going to use here today. All I smell on my brush is that butter bronzer from Physician Formula. <laughs> it smells disgusting. So I have bronzed my cheeks but I might do a wee bit of a contour with this exact same shade. So to do that I just like to Focus it just at the back, closer to the ear. Just kind of like up from your tragus, just about here. <laughs> what is going on with my hair? Does anybody else get these really annoying, like stupid quiff things at the front of their hair, like Excuse me, yeah, like this, like what the fuck. Okay, so I think that's actually it for the face. So now for lips, I'm just going to use this Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner. I actually get PR from Revlon and recently had they have sent me like loads of like lip products and stuff. So this is in the shade Red Rouge. Very thoughtful name. Don't know how they came up with that. Then for lips, I'm just going to use the Morphe liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Morphe? Is that right? What? Oh yes. Yep, I absolutely love that lip colour. Like anytime I have a red lipstick on, I just feel like I have lady balls. Like, you can't fuck with me. I am boss. <laughs> I just... I just love having a red lipstick on. Do you know something? See if I ever do a collab, I'm going to do a red lipstick. And I'm going to call it Lady Balls. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, as I was saying, this technically wasn't a full face first impression, so I wasn't going to be talking and discussing about the products. I didn't actually use anything that I absolutely hated or didn't work out. I absolutely loved the eyeshadow palette. The two highlighters were amazing. Blusher, loved it. The Maybelline Cream to Powder one. The liquid liner was absolutely fab. The concealer, hands down, absolutely fantastic. I will definitely be using it in more upcoming tutorials. I'm just absolutely 
flabbergasted at the fact that it wasn't even creasing on me and I creased like a motherfucker. I honestly creased like your turkey at Christmas. So yeah, um, please give me a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, it actually really, really helps me out whenever you guys like my videos. Um, I know I don't tell you to do that very often because at the end of the day you're going to do it if you want to. <laughs> Until next time, I talk to see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.